This is North Patia Road in Patia, Thailand. And the traffic is like this at least 18 hours a day. Bumper to bumper traffic. Now, I am sitting at an open air, a very popular open air Thai food restaurant that's very popular and serves 90% locals. Yes, this is where I'm sitting. I have a sidewalk side table and I'm out here with all this traffic and the past few months traffic is now the worst that it has ever been. Look at this tour bus. There must be at least 1,000 of these tour buses at any given moment on every given day in the city of Patna. Those tour buses are carting around Chinese people. Those tour buses are owned by Chinese companies who use Chinese drivers to haul them around. Okay, calm young guy. Okay. The eats here are delicious and they are reasonably priced. What you are witnessing is exactly as I am witnessing the same thing. Yes, you are seeing French New Wave and Italian neorealism while sitting at a Thai food restaurant at its best. Noise, noise, noise. Noise is everywhere in Asia, and especially true in Southeast Asia. It is difficult to find a place where you could get a moment of silence. When you come to Thailand, you will discover that the Thai people move at a slower pace than Westerners, and so does their traffic. But beware, there are exceptions to that rule. I am eating Tom Yang Gai. That is Thai style spicy chicken soup. OMG! This Chinese tourist bus just pulled up alongside of me and it's been here for about five minutes already. It's dropping off Chinamen to go into the Chinese restaurant a few doors now. None of those customers came into this restaurant. They're going to a restaurant owned by Chinese people, but this restaurant I'm in is owned by a Thai person who serves delicious Thai food, spicy chicken soup, Tom Yang Gai, but I don't know. I guess they're going for um, General Soul Chicken or something down the road over there. But just listen to the roar of this bus, and it's been stopped here for five minutes. I mean, this is lowering the quality of life for everyone in Thailand. These buses should not be allowed on the streets of Patti, period.
the big problem is too many people in this world only care about making a quick buck for themselves. And they'll circumvent or do anything they can to get around national and local laws so they can make a penny. I mean, this is a shame. It should not be happening like this, but it is. And what did you expect to see? This is Thailand. This is Pathia. This is the way it really is. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to show you what's here. Look at the smoke from this diesel. Oh, this is horrible. Actually, Thailand is living off its past reputation. What folks need not to forget when they visit Patia is that Patia is a contrived, Patia is a made up, Patia is a fake city, very similar to a place like Las Vegas or Macau or Disneyland or Universal Studios. It is designed with one purpose in mind, Get as much money from the traveler, the tourist, the foreigner as possible. Here's my Tom Yan guy with a heaping helping of petroleum fumes.